Easter Island is located approximately 4,000 kilometers to the west of South America's Chilean border. It is believed that Polynesians arrived on Easter Island approximately 300 AD to 500 AD. During this time, they arrived with their own supplies of livestock and non-native plants that they began reproducing on Easter Island. As the population began to increase, more and more land began to be cleared for the use of agriculture. All of this increased agriculture began to degrade the quality of the soil. Along with this problem, deforestation was rapidly increasing. Wood was being cleared for use in homes, canoes, as well as to build the now iconic Moai sculptures that were carved out of stone and then moved along rolling timber to the coasts. By approximately 1500 AD, the population of Easter Island began to run out of fuel. This is noted in historical record in the increased use of grasses over wooden fuels. As a result of this degradation of the natural resources of Easter Island, it was not long before famine and war broke out amongst the inhabitants of the island. As a result of the war and famine, there was a massive reduction in the population of the island. Many anthropologists and scientists agree that deforestation and soil erosion were the main factors in the war and famine that broke out during this time period. Deforestation caused a process called erosion. Erosion is a natural process in which vital nutrients and materials are removed from the surface and changed and moved to somewhere else. Although erosion is a natural process, human land use practices have exploited the erosion process. Industrial agriculture, urban sprawl, and deforestation have a great impact on erosion. A certain amount of erosion is natural and in fact healthy for the ecosystem. For example, sediments and vital nutrients can move downstream and deposit themselves on the, ri on the river banks. Excessive erosion, however, causes serious problems such as deep trenching, loss of plant life, ecosystem damage, and outright loss of soil. Surface runoff is caused when the soil is fully saturated with water. When this happens, the water cannot infiltrate into the soil and be absorbed. Full saturation of the soil can be caused by heavy rain, meltwater runoff, and also poor construction of our of our roads. Thankfully, much of the soil erosion problem can be handled through advanced technology and proper land management. Common examples include crop rotation, infiltration trenches, and terraces. Crop rotation is simply the rotation of crops in various fields, allowing the soil to catch up on nutrients that were depleted by the plant species growing there previously. Infiltration trenches on Easter Island collect rainwater and stabilize the hilly slopes where agriculture is based. These dramatically increase soil water infiltration, while at the same time are very easy to construct by native peoples. Simply using a shovel to dig a trench will allow rainwater to fill the trench in. These trenches are then lined with trees and covered with bulky layers of organic soil material. Terracing is a practice of building fences, steps, or basically level layers along a hillside. These are another easy technological solution that is great for limiting surface runoff and decreasing soil erosion. Terrace farming is great for undeveloped countries such as Easter Island. Since mechanized equipment is difficult to deploy, especially in Easter Island's remote geographical setting. As natural resources continue to be utilized on Easter Island, these universal technologies will become more and more important. Thankfully, the main resources for these technologies are human labor, and Easter Island is in no short supply of that. The main concern is simply spreading educational awareness of these agricultural techniques to the people of Easter Island, and from there, these technologies will flourish. Through increased use of these technologies, it's likely that the people of Easter Island will notice that certain organic materials and certain locations are better for these specific for each specific type of technology, be it trenches or terraces or crop rotation.
Certain skills are necessary to recognize why soil erosion is happening in Easter Island. Whether it be the fertility of the plants, if they're not pollinating, producing seeds or fruits, or the nutrient level of the soil, or what's causing the erosion, whether it be wind, water, or animal overgrazing. And then, knowing how to take control over the situation, how to manage the overgrazing, or the water, or the wind. Also, someone needs to know how to create the trenches, the terraces, and also know how to implement correct crop rotation techniques while keeping the diversity in their crops. Engineers should always implement the newest technologies and ideas whenever possible. For example, the engineers should develop ways that the indigenous people of Easter Island can protect the terrace crops from waterborne pathogens entering their plant species. The engineers should look for ways to produce organic fertilizers from the indigenous people's plant species while maintaining a, sp a sustainable future for the island. Crop rotation and plant biodiversity can also help the public from disease and famine by creating more than one plant species in a certain area. The agricultural techniques mentioned in this video are actually pretty easy to do. You can actually build a trench in your own backyard by yourself or with a friend. These agricultural techniques will continue to be important as ecosystems and resources are taken away or destroyed via either soil erosion, water salination, or deforestation. But luckily, these agricultural techniques are actually pretty easy to implement as previously mentioned. It's believed by many engineers and scientists that continued education and outreach will allow our societies, including Easter Island, to prevent agricultural disaster as our population surpasses 7 billion people.